influenza's virulence is driven by a cycle of viral infection, replication, shedding and spreading. Once in the body, the viral life cycle allows it to multiply fast and shed new virus ready for the next host, including more cells of your body and other people around you. So, let's look at the viral life cycle in more detail. After the virus is breathed into the airways, a viral glycoprotein called hemagglutinin facilitates its intrusion into a host cell. Then, viral genetic material is transported into the nucleus. Once there, the influenza RNA polymerase complex, composed of three subunits, PA, PB1 and PB2, is responsible for both viral messenger RNA transcription and viral replication. However, the influenza virus doesn't have all it needs to replicate its own genomic material. It requires one small piece of the host cell messenger RNA, called a cap, to trigger viral transcription. It steals this cap in a process called cap snatching. The thief is the PA subunit that possesses cap-dependent endonuclease activity. Once the host cap has been stolen, transcription of viral messenger RNA can be initiated. Following viral protein synthesis and RNA genome replication, all new viral components are finally assembled at the cell membrane and initiate the budding of new viral particles. Finally, viral neuraminidase cuts the viral particle free for it to infect other cells. The cycle continues. So, is there a way to break this cycle? A first-in-class antiviral called baloxavir is a cap-dependent endonuclease inhibitor that blocks an early stage of the influenza viral life cycle. Baloxavir binds to the PA subunit of the RNA polymerase complex and prevents cap snatching. Without this crucial cap, viral replication is inhibited and no new viral particles can be formed, so the life cycle of the virus is broken. And all this can be achieved by just a single dose of baloxavir. Influenza? Let's break the cycle.